Service to Purpose, The Mission is You, Day 44, I'm Brooks Holland. My gift is helping you pull your greatness from out inside, uh, you know, away, because I know all the self-sabotage and everything you will do not to see it yourself. I'm standing out here by the lake. Check out my yacht. Just kidding. And, uh, whew, it's been a little while since my last video. It's been a couple days. And a whole lot's been going on. Lots of things in life have been showing up for me. And I just want to fill you in on a couple of those things. A lot of it's been positive. A lot of it, there's, you know, those things that cause us in life to get off our ass and take action. And it's kind of where I've been, you know, lots of, lots of lessons learned. I've been doing a lot of coaching, which is one of my favorite places to be, getting lots of great results. And, you know, that's, that's really, that's my happy place, being present and helping people. And, uh, yeah, and that's also why I'm doing this video. And just a quick recap for the service to purpose, six basic things every day, got to decide, you got to take responsibility. Two, got to drink that gallon of water. You can add lemons, cayenne pepper. Three, eat real food, wash your portions. Four, Move your body at least an hour per day. Five, you're doing all that good stuff, so don't pollute your body with alcohol, cigarettes, weed, no unprescribed medications, no porn. And the last thing, and this quite possibly could be one of the most important ones, is the news fast. No news, which means no watching the news, no reading the news online, and most importantly, no liking, commenting, sharing, debating on social media any type of news type thing like that it's just a way to hide it doesn't do anything positive for you we want to just focus on the positive stuff that's out there if something really is newsworthy trust me you'll find out about it and that said i had this has come up a couple times in the last couple days where you know i call somebody that has reached out for help, support, whatever it is, and their voicemail box is full. You know, yes, there could be ways where it was an accident, but I don't think I've ever had a full mailbox in my entire life. And a lot of people will use that as a way to keep people away, but guess what? You know, when opportunity calls and it can't leave a message, it usually doesn't call you back. So a lot of times there's something subconscious, there's something going on under the surface as far as why you don't want people to contact you, why you don't think you're worthy of having people contact you, whatever it is. So in the end, and if you're feeling that feeling in your stomach, like crap, like deleting messages or, you know, or maybe you do have some messages that you want to say. I've had you like that too. Like their entire mailbox was voicemails that have been saved over the course of years, which, okay, and make a recording of it if it's that important and then move on. Because I will admit I, I have done this. It's with a very old phone and it was just the, it was just the timing. It was the last, um, the last voicemails I had from a friend of mine that committed suicide. And, you know, I was changing phones, but I did. I kept that phone and I kept those voicemails on there. Um, but had I had to keep it on the same phone, I would have made a recording or something, but they had to go. Because um, I can understand going back to hear someone's voice, things like that. But I would say, in most cases, be honest with yourself. Are you saving junk email message or junk voicemail messages? Are you using it as a way to keep people away from you? I mean, you never know. You have no idea what kind of opportunities you're missing when you're not open to it because people can't leave you a voicemail. So that said, um, I want to share this. Whew, an amazing opportunity, uh, you know, came across my path. And instead of in the past where I would have found ways to talk myself out of it little, little ducks are fighting over there uh 
I actually took it and it's been awesome. So my, I've known him for, I don't know, six, seven years, something like that, maybe longer. Chris Harder and his amazing wife, Lori, they have, they have a couple masterminds and podcasts. They have so much going on. They're amazing people. Um, but they have one of these masterminds. It's basically for six figure entrepreneurs and there's about 50 amazing people in this mastermind and they were going to try something new this time and they were looking for, uh, two coaches to come in and help coach their mastermind members for the five months while they were in the mastermind. And Chris brought it up to me and thought that I would be a great fit for it. And I took it and it hasn't been that long yet, but it's been, it's been awesome so far getting the feedback, um, just showing up and helping people. Like there's nothing that I love more is taking the years of experience on the positive and the negative side and sharing that with others so that we can, you know, compress time. I mean, really that's the most important asset we have in life is time. And that's why people will spend more to compress time. I mean, you go to Disney or you go to Six Flags, you can buy the pass so you don't have to, you know, stand in line for two and a half hours. You can compress time, get on the ride, get more through your day. You know, why do people do private jets versus, you know, commercial jets? Time. You're compressing time. And that's exactly what, you know, being in masterminds, having a good coach, having those people, people that have had those experiences. And as you work on yourself, you can take those lessons from them. Ooh, ooh, that's a nice, that's some nice golden hour light right there. You can do that and you can compress time. And so it's just awesome for me taking the experience that I've had, not just, you know, with Natalie Jill Fitness, that business over eight or nine years, but just really it's also all the life experiences and really shortening that path you know, because there's a lot of times, because I know I did it, things in entrepreneur world that you know you need to do, you know you should do, but there's that internal block. Like for this, you know, this was a big thing for me was avoiding being on video. And so, yeah, I get to help people, you know, uncover whatever that stuff is for them, whether they're having business stuff, get to help keep them accountable. So I am super grateful to Chris and Lori. I'm grateful that they've entrusted their, you know, all these people that put their trust in them and me, and there's just no better feeling. And it's just absolutely awesome getting to connect with so many amazing people that are doing big things in life. And, you know, when you start hanging around and and brand that it's just it's just such a different feeling like life just feels good and you can get there too if you're not already there because I know I wasn't for the longest time because I used to live in that that nice analytical place in my head where I could basically logically because logic is all that matters I could logically figure out every downside or why something wouldn't work or be uber cautious or whatever it was. So I could do that like a champion and it's awesome to get on the other side where you can see the possibility, where you can see the abundance, where you can see all those things in a situation. And it only comes from once you've done the work on yourself and you can clear out those things that are holding you back. And again, it's not, it's a destination. It's not like I've arrived and I planted my flag this is a lifetime journey and it's constant advancements of awareness, constant improvement. It's never a place that you reach and you get there. Just keep doing the work. Keep following these videos, keep following whatever it is that helps you out and makes you feel great about yourself. I also have a couple other cool things that are in the works. And, um, I think I might drop a link to one of them, uh, below this video. It's basically, it's a buddy of mine that I've known for years. I knew it when he was, you know, really getting, you know, getting the stuff built out, but he's built an extremely powerful application as far as that deals. It really, it's, it's dealing with the ultimate game of this thing called life. And so I'm going to put a link below and it'll be servicepurpose.com forward slash game. 
so that you it'll, it will link to this app. You have to go in that way. And also, if you use that later, just it'll help because there's tons of people on there so that, you know, I can find the people. We can all kind of be on the same team. You know, just get in there. Starts with a, you know, a free seven-day challenge. There's a great money course in there. And there's a whole bunch of stuff after it. And I will fill you in more on that later on because it's something that I am going to be a part of you know, from the inside of that, as far as, as you get in, there is the option for some coaching and there's a lot of really amazing tools that has, you know, been built with somebody with 30 plus years experience, you know, seven, eight, nine figure business experience, you know, bought companies, sold companies, private jets, those things. So it's awesome. It's all in there. It's all in a path. So there you have it. Thank you being here day 44 service to purpose the mission is you i'm brooks holland and i will see you tomorrow